ang ilang pelikulang pinakita ay gawa na nag-iisang Lamberto Vera Avellana. Pero sino nga ba siya? Sa panimulang impormasyon, sa ay isang awarded national artist sa Pilipinas noong 1976 para sa theater and film. At sa mixing dokumentaryong ito, sumahan niyo po kami lagyang ilaw ang kanyang mga filosofiya, estilo, kahalagahan at mga iniwang tumatak sa mundo ng Philippine art scene. Si Lamberto Vera Avellana ay pinanganak sa probinsya ng Buntok sa Mountain Province noong February 12, 1915. Mas kilala si Lamberto bilang Boy Wonder of the Philippine Movies at kilalang direktor para sa kanyang mga prominenteng pelikula. Ito na yan, sa edad na 24, nakilala ang kanyang film na Sakay noong 1939 na tungkol sa Filipino Revolutionary Makayo Sakay. At ang mga nakitang film sa unang bahagi ng dokumentaryo ay inlan lamang sa kanyang directed films na sobra sa bilang na 70 sa loob ng 60 decades. At ilan sa mga ito ay nakuha ng, nakakuha ng international attention kagaya ng Badyaw na tungkol sa love stories sa ating mga kababayang Badyaw at Anak Dalita na tungkol sa portrayal na kahirapan sa Pilipinas pagkatapos ng World War II. Ang gawa rin ni Lamberto ang kauna-unahang Filipino film na, tumat- na natampok sa Cannes International Film Festival at kilalang naging founder ng Philippine Theater Group at ng Barangay Theater Guild noong 1939. Kung tatanungin, ano nga ba ang mga nasa gawa ni Lamberto? No? Bakit ito nakahakot ng puso at isip ng mga manodod? Siguro, kailangan muna natin maintindihan ang mga filosofiya ni Lamberto Vera Avellana. Talagang tinangkilik ng mga Pinoy at maging ng mga tagaybang bansa ang mga pelikula ni Direk Lamberto Avellana. Ngunit ang hindi madalas na mapansin ng ilan ay ang filosofiya ang nagpagalaw at nagpairan sa mga tauhan at kwento ng kanyang mga pelikula. Sadyang mayaman at hitik sa filosofiya ang kanyang mga gawa na hindi sila maaaring mailagay sa iisang kaisipan lamang, kundi sa kombinasyon ng samutsaring mga kaisipang filosofiko na mas nakapagbigay pa ng lalim, diwa, kulay at damdamin sa kanyang mga pelikula. May kakibat din na filosofiya ang mga pelikulang ginawa ni Lamberto Avellana. Isa na rito ay ang tema ng eksistensyalismo na naipakita sa kakayahan ng mga protagonista sa kanyang mga pelikula na makagawa ng desisyon para sa kanilang mga buhay. Mayroon ding roman sa bilang tema ang kanyang mga gawa na nagpapakita rin ng pantasya at ang pakiramdam ng eskapismo na hindi naman naiiwanan ng katotohanan at realidad na nangyayari sa lipunan. Nagahalo ang piksyon at ang realidad ng buhay sa kanyang mga pelikula. Kumamit din siya ng mga ideyang historikal bilang setting o lugar ng kanyang mga akda tulad ng kanyang ginawa sa mga pelikulang Sakay, Anak Dalita, Hook sa Bago Pamumuhay at ang Portrait of the Artist as Filipino. Ito na rin marahil ang mga dahilan kung bakit pumatok sa mga tao at maging sa ibang bansa ang kanyang mga pelikula dahil nasasalami ng mga manonood sa kanyang mga pelikula. Nasasalamin din ang buhay Pilipino ang kasaysayan, kultura at pag-uugali, pati na rin ang ating pagkakakilanlan. Sa madaling salita, pinakita ni Direk Lamberto Avellana ang galing at ang tanyag na angkin ng mga Pinoy pagdating sa pagdire at paggawa ng mga pelikulang may saysay, gunita at pagdalumat sa kasaysayan at lalo na sa pagiging Pilipino. Avellana as a filmmaker, he developed a style where the camera was used to present a point of view. And that was his big step towards revolutionizing the technique of film narration. And that was when he first used the motion picture camera to establish that point of view. Avellana also was the first Filipino director to have his work entitled Candelerong Pilak, screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Anak Dalita and Badjao perhaps stand at his most prominent works You can see these films that his style of artwork has the part of motion picture which included the point of view of the character. Lamberto B. Abeliana, considered as the only living and active Filipino director who has succeeded in hanging on to nearly four decades of filmmaking. Almost alone, 
This stands as a witness to the ups and downs of Philippine cinema. One who has seen and experienced it all, from the bumbling 60s to the golden 50s to the corrosive 60s and on to the contemporary times. And now, it is vital for us to understand what is the significance of these words. Lamberto Villabellanas started to equate the prevailing state of local cinema with the pedestrian interest of the movie audience. In his film Bakya, he incorporated the sense of cultural representation as how it will interact and connect with the modern concepts of Filipino film. He then concluded that in order to make a money-making film, a director or a producer must cater to the taste of the masses, the sentiment of the audience who go to the movies with their market baskets, in their sleepers, or bakyas. Avellana clarified that bakya was never intended as a pejorative term. In fact, it was used as a gauge of a successful picture. You know, the sounds of wooden clogs in the lobby worn by Lola and the rest of her family. Lumberto B. Avellana's direct contribution to the Philippine cinema is his unique cinematic techniques, in particular, the mise en scene, which at the time was unheard of among directors who merely used their cameras to tell a story. In short, it was Sabaliana who first discovered, exploited, and enriched the idiom of film in the country. Aside from this, it was also Abeliana who first rebelled against the prevailing popularity of such human romances and superficial melodramas. Through his treatment of stories with serious themes and three-dimensional characters, he successfully mixed the significant issues of his time with the conventions of Filipino film movie making. He creates films from the underlying issues that our society is still currently under for priority today, such as poverty, indigenous rights, historical biographies, and etc. On that note, Lamberto Biabellian has remained unvanquished by the oncoming forces of age and change. He made his experience in the scene of Pinalakang Tabing and his interest to film all classes of concepts into his medium of filmmaking. This merely shows how Abeliana contributed to Philippine cultural reset as a subject for modern Philippine film and arts. Because of his exceptional contributions to the Filipino film industry, Lamberto Abeliana was dubbed as the boy wonder of Filipino movies. In fact, he made history for directing Candelero Pilac, which was the first ever Filipino movie to premiere at the Cannes International Film Festival. And according to the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, Lamberto Avellano was the first ever to use a motion picture camera to establish a point of view, which was a breakthrough in narration techniques for film. The highest point of his career as a filmmaker was when he was declared a national artist for theater and film in 1976. He also founded the first Philippine theater group in 1939 with his wife, Daisy Ontiveros Avellana, who is also a national artist called the Barangay Theater Guild. Daisy and Lamberto, together with their other friends, founded the BTG with the primary aim of promoting and heightening the popularity of dramas and theater films through televisions and radios. Lamberto Avellana had established a reputation for producing top-notch films. Among the timeless masterpieces of Philippine cinema are made by him. He undoubtedly left behind a solid and enduring legacy for all Filipinos. To honor Lamberto Avellana's legacy, some of his works are presented and briefly discussed, beginning with his 1939 debut film, Sakai. It was a biopic of Makario Sakai, a revolutionary from the Philippines in the early 20th century. The film became a training point in developing film narration as an art. However, it was deemed particularly controversial as Sakai was depicted as a mere bandit rather than the current appreciation of him as a fighter for Filipino independence in the film. Nevertheless, 
it was credited with reinventing the techniques of cinema narration and using a point of view that can be either subjective or omniscient. Sakai was picked as the best picture in 1940 by a panel of journalists.